Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Aruna and today we're opening some boxes because uh, I've been shopping. If you've been around for a little while or at least for a few weeks you will remember that I put out a video where I was wondering what bag to buy next. If I was going to save a little while for something a bit more expensive or go for something a little bit smaller like a Louis Vuitton Speedy, Louis Vuitton Alma or wait for a Dior Book Tote or a Fendi Baguette. Obviously there's a little bit of a price difference between these bags and I thought to myself why not check the pre-loved market. I do generally keep an eye on the pre-loved market like at least every week I check it out but I found some amazing things. So I have one thing from Chanel, yes, Chanel, and one thing from Louis Vuitton. Now I've got two boxes here. One is a little bit smaller than I thought it would be, and one is about five sizes bigger. So I really wonder if they've actually sent me the right thing, because this thing right here is enormous. I mean, look at this thing. It's, it's, it's bigger than me. Guys, if you're new here, my name is Aruna and I love everything travel, beauty, fashion. It's a little bit of a mess around here, but we love it. If you love it too, please don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you can see when I upload videos. And if you want to support my channel, you can buy me a coffee on the link in the description. So guys, let's open these up because I'm so freaking excited! So I thought we'd do the small one first because, well, simplicity. So it is this little one right here. Uh, it does contain something Chanel. No, it is not a bag because there's no, no, no way I can afford a Chanel bag. Even, even a used one. They are so expensive and that's not really what I'm after right now. I might be after one in the future, but that's not what I'm after right now. No, this I came across just completely randomly in a reduced sale. So I got both these items from Designer Exchange. This is not a sponsored video, I just really like Designer Exchange. I follow them and lots of other used and pre-loved luxury sites online. I hope you're as excited as I am. So I've opened it, it is in here, it is clothing and I'm so excited. I'm so freaking excited. I, I know what it is, I know what it looks like, but there's one thing that I do not know, if it has a tag on and when it's from. I have no clue, so it could be vintage. I have absolutely no idea, but it is a Chanel skirt. Yes, it is. So it has two pockets on the front, it has a zipper in the side, and then on the back, so this is at the bottom on the back, it has these gorgeous buttons. If you look up close, there is a tiny, tiny, tiny Chanel mark on each button. So there's four of them here, and oh, they're so, so pretty. All I know is that this is my size. So this is a UK 12. I'm like 10 to 12, depending on what it is, but it is a bit stretchy. And so this is a Chanel 40. Um, Oh my god, so these tags, these big ones, are from Designer Exchange. You have to keep them on if you want to return it. But the original tag is on, can you believe it? So this is actually the original tag, and this is a 15B. So this will be 2015 fall, fall winter, I think. The original price tag is on, it was $2,100. Oh my god, I got this for less than a hundred pound. That's absolutely insane with the original tag on. I'm almost concerned this might be fake, but I don't think so. I really don't think so. I have a feeling that someone just had this in their closet and didn't really wear it and just sold it. The only thing that I can see is that the tag on the inside, because obviously it has a lot of crap on it, has loosened. So like one of the sides of the tag is loosened. But I can just put a little stitch in it. I have a sewing machine so I can fix that. That's that's no problem. I've literally bought a $2,000 skirt and I'm sure if they made these today they would be even more expensive. So guys, let's try it on and see if it actually fits. Oh my god you guys, this might be the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. So I'm popping on my nice shoes because it's a Chanel skirt, you need to do it up a little bit, but I have a feeling that this will probably fit really well with like uh, Nike Air Forces and stuff, just to make it look a bit cool. And I also put a nicer sweater on because, you know. <laughs> have you ever seen anything that fit better? Jesus Christ, I can't even believe it. Oh, I'm trying not to put any tension on the tag inside, so I'm just trying to hold on to these, but oh my god. It looks amazing! What do you guys think? Do you like it? I like the little pockets at the front. So, like I said, this is a Chanel wool and cashmere blend skirt. It is from the 15B collection, so it will now be about 
seven years old, but it's it looks like it's never been worn. I mean, all the tags are on and oh my god! How amazing does it look? I mean, I love it. I just, I just plain love it. Oh my god. I can't believe I have a Chanel skirt. Oh my god. I think it's fair to say that I'm in love with this skirt. Now, I'm still wearing it because I kind of want to try it with my new Louis Vuitton. Now, <laughs> I don't know what to do with this box. I mean, look at this. It is massive, so... I'm gonna, just gonna have to open it with you guys. I've just cut it open, so let's give it a try. Oh, it opens that way. All right, what the hell? Seriously? How many of these are there? They have a shopping bag and a Louis Vuitton box and even more of these bastards in the bottom. I don't know who's packed this but uh, are there no smaller boxes? So this is obviously a Louis Vuitton bag. It does come with the original receipt but I still don't know when it is from. I have no idea how old it is, I just know that it's in pretty good condition. So let's open this up and get the bag out. That's the dust bag. <laughs> This is really hard. Let's put that over there for now. So, if you've ever had a Louis Vuitton bag, I think you can guess from the shape what it is. It is a Speedy 25, and it is in the Damier Abin. So, luckily they folded it perfectly. Again, these tags are just from this, uh, Designer Exchange, just to make sure that, you know, it's up to code if you want to send it back. So, if you're thinking about sending something back, don't take these off. So, the outside looks really, really good. Um, I've been considering this bag for a while. Um, it's actually a bit smaller than I thought it would be. Um, I knew that the 25 is quite small, but I think the 30 and the 35 are a little bit too big. I might as well buy a keepall. So let's put it down for now, because I want to look at the receipt. Obviously, I'm not going to show the receipt to you. I just want to know when it was purchased. So this was purchased 20th of September 2020 which means that this bag is just two years old i did not expect that because i paid drum roll 600 pound for this bag 600 that's half the price of what they cost today so at that time i think they were like 850 but still because this bag looks phenomenal so let's have a look at it let me turn it around so you don't see the the things Okay, so obviously it needs to prop up a little bit. If I'm keeping this, I will be buying an insert so that it kind of keeps its shape a little bit. <laughs> Not really any smell. That's good. Um, the handles look amazing. Like these look brand new. There's no scuffs on the hardware. The pull tag looks brand new. Um, the underside looks great. I would actually be surprised if this has been used at all. And the inside, because I have not seen any pictures of the inside, so I have no idea. It could be so cheap because it looks really bad on the inside. It looks fantastic. Let me turn, let me get some light in there. It looks amazing. It looks amazing. Like, I can see a tiny, tiny, tiny few pen marks, but that's it. It looks amazing. Let's look inside the little pocket. It's perfect. Like, it's, it's almost pristine. How I got this so cheap, I have absolutely no idea. The only thing I know for sure is that it is actually real. I have the receipt. I'm gonna find the... give me a moment. Let me find the tag. Does anyone know where the number tag is on the speedy? Ah! I found it. Yep. Yeah, that is real. I will search the number up just in case, but again, Designer Exchange don't do fakes. They have their authenticators and everything, so I trust them that this is real. It feels real. It looks real. How did I get it so cheap? I can't even... I can't even understand it. Um, as you can see, the zipper is immaculate. The sides are immaculate. There is a tiny, tiny, tiny little scuff here. 
right in front of my fingertip, right there. It's so minuscule. I can barely see it, like it's, it's non-existent. And there is maybe like five tiny, tiny, tiny little pen marks on the inside, which I don't even think they picked up on the camera because they're so small. This bag is pristine and I paid like half price for it. I can't, I still can't believe it. And I can still not believe how enormous this box is. If you have it speedy, did you get a box this size? I mean, it's absolutely insanely big. I have so many of these now, I don't even know what to do about them. Obviously I will get an insert so that this like stays a bit nicer, it won't like fold in the corners and it will also protect the inside. Now please look away from these because I can't take them off yet, I haven't decided if I'm actually keeping it. I have to say though, it's absolutely immaculate, it's amazing, but I'm, I'm torn because maybe I want a, like a 30 bandolier for example instead, something that is a little larger. But I do really like this bag and I've always wanted one and I've always wanted it in Dami Urbine instead of the monogram because everyone has the monogram. This one's a little bit more like neutral I feel and obviously it looks absolutely fabulous with my Jimmy Choo's and my Chanel skirt and I'm just full of price tags. Oh my god, I, I really do love it. I really, really do. There's no way I'm returning the skirt. The skirt is staying with me until I die because I absolutely love it. You can't get a Chanel wool and cashmere skirt in any better condition and I paid like next to nothing for it. So I'm gonna walk around and all day in my Chanel skirt with my Jimmy Choo's. These are my wedding Jimmy Choo's and my new Louis Vuitton and I'm gonna wonder what I'm gonna do about it. But until then, just have a look at this this outfit. No, I'm being a bit ridiculous, but I'm I'm loving this whole thing. I really wish I had a job where I could wear this to work. Sadly, I work in restaurants. I have to wear shirts and I can't wear heels and I definitely can't carry around a Louis Vuitton, but oh, I'm so happy right now. You have no idea. Guys, that was everything for this video. I hope you really enjoyed it because I did. I'm going to continue my day in a mild delirium because I have a new Chanel skirt and a new Louis Vuitton bag and I still can't believe it. Like, I'm gonna watch this video when it goes up tomorrow, which is a Thursday today. I'm going up on tomorrow, Friday, which is when I usually upload videos. And I'm gonna be watching this video when it premieres and be like, did that just happen? Do I actually have these things? I love the shopping experience at Designer Exchange. I put a link in the description so you guys can have a look as well. And again, this is not a sponsored video. I just, <laughs> I'm just really happy. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell so you can see when I upload. I upload videos on Fridays, so I guess I'll see you guys next Friday. Bye.